What's up everyone, Danny Light and I'm back with another CSR2 video. So we are going to talk about the cars that earn the most RP when you win live races or win a showdown race. If you haven't already run the Elite License for Tempest, these are some of the cars I would suggest using. If you've already done it like me, then hey, you're still going to find out which cars are going to do great for live racing as far as earning lots of respect points and earning lots of points and prizes for your crew. The Toyota GR Supra is definitely one of the highest earning cars in the game. This gets a lot of respect points. It's a, it's a, a elite tuners car, so it gets additional bonuses. All right, so this one has a crew bonus. If you're in a good crew, you got a rare car bonus. You got a freshness bonus. You got a collection bonus. So once you have all of the elite tuners cars and you get them all up to purple stars, that collection bonus is going to increase. And the same goes with the legends cars, guys. Legends and Elite Tuner cars are going to be great for earning respect point. Not only does this car have all those additional bonuses, but it's also got five purple stars. All right, that's the one cool thing about the Elite Tuners cars. You can make any one of those into a purple star car with enough Elite upgrades. This is one of those cars that they give out to everybody for free. If you don't have it yet, you will get it. So I would probably hold off and try to make this one elite by running the Tempest Elite License. Now, if you've already run it, you cannot do that. But if you haven't done the Tempest races yet, guys, this is one of the best cars to make elite. Next, we're going to check out the McLaren F1, which is a Legends car. So this guy has five purple stars. This earns more respect points than any other car in the game. This is the highest earning car there is. This one can get the 20% crew bonus, the 18% rare car bonus, the legends bonus. Okay, it has a legends bonus. It has a freshness bonus. And there is a collection bonus, which I do not have yet because I don't have enough legends cars maxed out the purple stars. But we could get another big additional bonus on top of that if we get enough of these legends cars up the purple stars. And if you were to run the Elite License and make this car Elite, you would get another 10%. So we could get another 20% on top of what we got. Eventually, everybody's going to get the McLaren F1 as well. Once you restore every single Legends car, you get the F1 for free. So in my opinion, those are the two best cars for earning respect points if you can get all the bonuses and stuff going on on those. Now... Let's forget about the Legends cars or the Elite Tuners cars for now and talk about what else makes a really good respect point earning car if you don't have one of those. The first thing you want to look for is the higher the tier of the car, the more respect points. The second thing is the stars. Five gold stars or five purple stars are going to earn the most RP. Purple stars earn a little more than gold. The next thing you want to look at are the Evo points. I don't really pay much attention to the performance points, which is the little number on this car. You see it's got 714 performance points and it's got 1,360 Evo points. So if it's got five golden stars or five purple stars and it's got over 1,000 Evo points, it's going to earn really, really good respect points when you win a live race or a showdown race. But one thing you need to keep in mind here is just because it has five golden stars and it's got high Evo does not mean the car is going to do well at live racing. If the car is not capable of winning live races and some are not, you don't want to make that car elite and you don't want to use that car for live racing. What you want to do is look for the better live racing cars in the game and use those specifically for live racing. Remember, only some cars in the game excel at live racing. Most of them do not. There's, there's a lot of cars that are just amazing for live, but the majority of them suck at live. So you got to have a good live racing car on top of all the other stuff. If it doesn't win live races easily, you shouldn't be doing it, and you should definitely not run the Elite License and make it Elite if it does not win live races and earn a lot of respect points. So any Elite Tuners car or any Legends car that's easy to win live races with and you have it upgraded enough are going to earn a lot of respect points, especially when you start getting the collection bonuses and whatnot on top of what they've already got going on. And any 5-star Tier 5 car or 5-star Tier 4 car, especially if it has purple stars, is going to be really, really good as long as you're able to win live race after live race after live race with it. Like I said, some cars are just not good. So anything with five golden stars and over a thousand evil points that wins live races will earn amazing respect points. 
All right. Any tier four car with five gold or five purple stars that has over a thousand evil points will do great. Any lower tier car, let's just say you don't have a tier four or a tier five car yet. Look at the little Porsche Boxster. The little Porsche Boxster is a tier two car. It's got, you can get pretty close to a thousand Evo on it. There may be a few tier one or tier two cars that do hit a thousand Evo. And those ones will even earn really, really good respect points when you win live races. But of course, if you can make the legends or the elite tuners cars elite, but make sure it's good at live racing first. Some of those elite tuners cars suck at live racing. For example, the Subaru BRZ is not a very good car. I would not elite that one. I wouldn't bother at all. It's not going to be the greatest. But like the RX-7, the uh, Skyline, the Supra, some of those are just amazing at live and would be great to elite. But I, I suggest the Supra is the main one or the McLaren F1. Those are the two main tier five cars I think everybody should elite. And I also think the Subaru WRX for tier four should be elite just because it does really, really good on lower upgrades and it earns loads of respect points. All right, so I hope that clears it up. I hope that helps you guys figure out which cars to use that are gonna earn really good respect points when you live race. That'll help your crew earn all kinds of prizes and stuff like that. And you'll be able to join a bigger, better crew the more respect points you make. And that means you'll get more prizes and stuff, not just the crew. So anyways, I think that wraps this one up. Lightning out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell and set those notifications all and all that good stuff. And we will catch you next time. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you really want to help to support the channel, click the little uh, join button or the thank you button below the channel. We would definitely appreciate that a lot. And hey, you guys have an amazing day. Lightning out. See ya.